everyone. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my OPI nail polish collection. All of my OPIs are in this little drawer. I do have some Orly's stuck in here as well. I didn't have enough room in one drawer to put Orly's, but I have since done some rearranging, so those need to get moved to a different drawer. But I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys what my collection of OPI polishes look like. I am in the process of going through and kind of de-stashing, specifically my mainstream collection, just to downsize it a little bit. I love mainstreams, but I also am really enjoying indie polishes, and I wanted to just take some time over the next couple months to go through my collection and just get rid of polishes that I'm not necessarily interested in or ones that I just don't see myself wearing. But in this video, we're going to go ahead and just go through my entire OPI collection. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start all the way back here at the back. So I have this polish. This is called Susie, the First Lady of Nails. It is a really pretty, like, mossy, olivey green. This next polish is this one called black cherry chutney. I have not actually worn this one yet. I do need to set this one aside to put on my upcoming fall rack. This next polish is one I think I've actually worn. This is Como Seyama. I got this at TJ Maxx. It is a beautiful like rusty brown shade. This next one was also a TJ Maxx find. I have not worn this one yet. This is My Private Jet. Another polish that I have not worn, this one is called Dressed to the Wines. Some of these I got at TJ Maxx, most of these I got at TJ Maxx, some of these I actually ordered on a website that had these for like $5 and change. This next polish still has the TJ Maxx sticker on it. This one is called Amour at the Grand Canal. Another untried is this one called Mary in Cranberry. It has some beautiful shimmer to it. Another untried is this one called Award for Best Nails Goes To. This is a beautiful blue polish. This is a really pretty pink. This one is called Pink in Canvas. Another untried. This is from TJ Maxx. This is called Less is Norse. A polish that I quickly loved the first time I wore this one. This is an older polish from a couple years ago. This one is called Mikasa S. Blue Casa. I think it was from a Mexico City collection. Really pretty cobalt blue. Another untried, I got this at Walmart marked down a couple years ago. This is Chopsticks and Stones. It is a beautiful royal blue with shimmer. Yet another untried. This one is one I think my husband picked out. This is called Angel's Flight to Starry Night. It's a beautiful periwinkle shimmer. Another untried. This is OPI Loves Downtown LA. This is kind of like a smoky purple. A bright pink that I have actually not worn. This one is called La Positively Hot. This is a beautiful bright pink with shimmer. One that I wore and fell in love with. This is LED Marquee. This is a beautiful blue holographic polish. Absolutely gorgeous. I believe I got this one off of Polish Pick. 
another untried for me. This is called Suzy San Climbs Fuji San. I think most of these are from TJ Maxx. This one I think I ordered online. It might be a TJ Maxx. I'm not sure because I don't have a sticker on this one. A beautiful vampy shade. This one is called Yes, My Condor Can Do. A bright purple. This one is called Newberry. I ordered this one online. I thought the color was really beautiful. It's a gorgeous purple. A Sally Beauty clearance item. It still has the sticker on it. This one is called The Sound of Vibrance. It is a really pretty purple with blue shimmer. Another like pinky purple. I have worn this one before. It's like a pale purple with a little bit of pink in it. This is purple palazzo pants. This one did come from TJ Maxx. Another beautiful shade from TJ Maxx. This one, actually, I don't think this was TJ Maxx. I think I ordered this one. This is a cult classic. This one is called It's a Piazza Cake. Piazza Cake. I did get this off of Beyond Polish. Diana from Some Call Me Coco talks about this one. It was one of her favorite polishes, and it is a little hard to get. So when I had the opportunity to pick it up, I definitely made sure to do that. Another polish from TJ Maxx is this beautiful one. This one is called OPI Nails the Runway. It is like a charcoal shimmer polish. I thought that was a little bit of a different color tone. I feel like I'm seeing like pink and blue specks of glitter in this one, but I don't know if it's going to come across on camera or not. I got it just because I thought it was pretty. Another gorgeous blue. I don't believe I've actually worn this one. This was found at TJ Maxx. This is Yo Gotta Get This Blue. Absolutely a gorgeous shade. This is beautiful. I fell in love with it. I had to pick it up as soon as I saw it. Another TJ Maxx find, I think. Actually, no, I did order this one off of Polish Pick. This one is called Cold Mates. This is from a Christmas collection quite a while ago. I picked it up. I thought it'd be beautiful. I haven't actually worn this one yet. I really need to. Couple more vampy shades. This one I have worn. I wasn't all that gung ho about it. The formula was a little finicky for me. This is in the cable carpool lane. Beautiful berry tone, but I had some issues with the formula for some reason. I need to try it again, but I may end up destashing this one. Another purple. We already did that one. <laughs> I'm losing track of where which ones I've already pulled have this polish. This is called My Chihuahua Bites. It is a beautiful coral. I gotta figure out where I gotta go here. Here we go. I have this sparkly shade. This one is called I'm Really an Actress. This is stunning. If you do not have this as part of your collection, I highly recommend that you pick it up. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous in the bottle, even prettier on the nails. Another orange polish. I got this at TJ Maxx as well. This is Susie Needs a Locksmith. There is this one called Spare Me a French Quarter. Another TJ Maxx polish. This is called We the Female. A beautiful red. This one is called Maraschino Cheery. I believe this was part of the holiday collection for 2021. It's kind of like a jelly polish. This one has not been worn yet. Another beautiful vampy shade. This is called I'm Really a Waitress. I think I've worn this one. I'm not sure if I wore this one. I know I wore I'm not really I'm really an actress. 
I can't remember if I wore this one yet or not. But this is a beautiful shade. So that is, I'm not really a waitress. Another beautiful shade that has not been worn yet. This is Sending You Holiday Hugs. I got this off of Polish Pick, I think. It's a really pretty polish with some gold shimmer to it. A polish that I have not actually worn, I don't think. This was a TJ Maxx polish as well. This is called Abstract After Dark. It is a beautiful polish. It has shifty shimmer that is shifting blue, teal, pink, and purple in here. I don't think I've actually worn that polish yet. Another one that I have actually wore, I think this is kind of like a pastel purple. This is called Graffiti Sweetie. A dark blue. This one is called Isn't It Grand Avenue. This is a cream. Another polish from the holiday collection for 2021. This is Mylar Dreams. Another bright pink. This is one of my favorites. I don't remember where I got it. I think it might have come from like Ulta. This is No Turning Back from Pink Street. This is one of my favorites. It's a beautiful bright pink. Formula is opaque and two coats. I love this one. It just kind of gets lost in this drawer that I forget I actually have it. This next one is Just Lanying Around. This was my first OPI polish from TJ Maxx back in February of 2020. It is a beautiful mauve that has some silver shimmer to it. Really nice formula on that one as well. Another polish that I have not worn. This is another berry shade. This is called Seventh and Flower. Most of these, again, are all TJ Maxx signs. I went ham every time I saw them because I was trying to build up my collection of polishes, and that's where I went because they were the most affordable. This next polish is this one called CIA Color is Awesome. It's a really pretty teal. Um, another blue, this one is called Super, Super Tropicalifugistic. A bright blue. This one is called No Room for the Blues. Is another shade. It definitely needs shook up. It's separated just a little bit. This is and that's Berry Darling. It's more of a color like what's here at the top. It definitely needs a good shake. Another Red, this is an orange leaning red. This is Art Walk in Susie's Shoes. A Infinite Shine Polish. I got this at TJ Maxx. This is called Harajuku Get This Color. Another beautiful berry shade. This one is called Vamsterdam. Another coral. This is Coca-Cola Red. Have a nude shade. This one is called Icelanded A Bottle of OPI. This one is called California Raspberry. Another beautiful blue. This is Can't Find My Checkbook. This one is I Can Only Wear OPI. A 
another shade perfect for fall. This one is called My Italian is a Little Rusty. Another red polish that is one of my favorites. This is Big Apple Red. A beautiful purple. This one is called, oh, you sing, dance, and reproduce. You sing, dance, act, and produce. This one was a TJ Maxx find. Another beautiful vampy shade. This one is called Let's Take an Elfie. Another pink. This is 15 Minutes of Flame. A deep green. This one is called Things I've Seen in Abergreen. I got this at TJ Maxx. Another beautiful pink. This one was one of my first purchases. This was from Ulta, I believe. It was a clearance find. This is Madam President. Another dark shade. This is a very deep burgundy. This one is called Complimentary Wine. Another pink. This one is called Two Timing the Zones. This is a recent purchase from TJ Maxx. One of my favorite mint greens. This is called That's Hilarious. Also found at TJ Maxx. Another pink. This is Arigato from Tokyo. A dark vampy purple. This one is from an OPI LA collection. This is OPI Loves to Party. I have a couple minis here. I'm not sure if I'm going to remember the names of these. Um, I don't know if I know the name of this one. I know one of them is Lincoln Park After Dark. This one I can't remember what the name of it is. I got this in a set to try it out. It was one of those polishes that Diana from Some Call Me Coco talks about, and I can't remember the name of this one. So if you know, let me know down in the comments. There is a little white mini bottle. This is like their French tip white. I think this is, um, what is this one? I can't think of it now. I thought I had it, and I can't think of what it's called. It is just a basic white. I think this polish is Lincoln Park After Dark. Think. They don't have names on them, so I'm not really sure what that one's called. Another bright orange. This one is a older polish for my collection. This is Viva OPI. I think this came out in the Mexico City collection as well. A lilac purple. This is a newer one. This one has some shimmer in it. This is called Don't Wait, Create. I wore this one recently. The formula on this one was not what I was expecting. It was a little hard to work with. This one may end up getting de-stashed. I'm not sure if I'm going to de-stash that one just yet. There's another holographic polish. This is called My Color Wheel is Spinning. Another holographic polish. This one is called Paint the Tinsel Town Red. Another really pretty shade. I've worn this one and fell in love with it. This was TJ Maxx find. This is called OPI Ink. It is a deep blue base that has shifts of blue to purple to even a little bit pink in there with that shimmer. This is gorgeous. Another berry shade. This is new to me. This one is called Just Be Claws. Another purple. This one is O oh, Susie Mio. A 
we're rounding down to the end here. I have a couple more. This is a, another favorite of mine. This one is called Have Your Panatone and Eat It Too. I really went ham on OPIs. I still kind of have been, and I'm trying to not do that. I do not need more. But when I was starting out with OPI polishes from TJ Maxx, I went crazy, and that's why I ended up with so many. This is another holographic polish. This one is called Ready, Fet, Go. I just went crazy because OPIs at TJ Maxx are $4.99, and I thought, oh, yeah, I need all the OPIs I can get my hands on. Come to find out I don't like the brushes on OPI polishes, so I am kind of going through trying to de-stash a few of these that I just know I'm not as big a fan of as I thought I was. So this one was TJ, a TJ Maxx fine. This one is called Give Me a Lido Kiss. A yellow from this one. This is a fairly new purchase for me from TJ Maxx. This is kind of that pastel yellow. This one is called Never a Dollis Moment. OPI polishes are great. I just wish the brushes were a little bit better. I don't like the way the brushes are on the polishes. I wish they would change them out, but anyway. There's this polish. This is called Bring Out the Big Gems. I think this was from TJ Maxx as well. Another Infinite Shine polish. This was part of a Facebook mystery box. This one is called Go to Great Lengths. It is like a off-white, well, it's actually more of a silver with silver shimmer. A couple more. I have this one. This is called That's What Friends Are Thor. It's a dark chocolate brown. Another polish I bought that I haven't actually worn yet. It actually is very opaque. This is fairly new. This is called Teeling Festive. I got this at TJ Maxx as well. It has a beautiful teal green with silver shimmer. I want to try this out to see if it'll work for stamping art. I have not done that, but it's very opaque on its own. So if you have not tried this one and maybe you're looking for something like this, definitely see if you can find this one. The final polish here is this one. This one's a contender for a D-stash as well. This is You're Such a Budapest. Formula on this one was not quite as good as I had hoped it would be. There's a little bit of shimmer in this one, I believe. It is a beautiful purple, but the formula was a little bit wonky for me in like three coats. It took several coats. It's pretty on the nail. It just wasn't as opaque as I thought it was going to be, so this one may be going in the D-stash. That's it, guys. That is everything that I have for my OPI polishes. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have a favorite from this video that is your go-to polish for OPI, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if there's any polishes that you aren't so crazy about either. I am working on going through this and de-stashing polishes right now. I plan to just kind of go through my collection with the mainstreams and see what polishes I just don't gravitate towards. I have so many untried polishes in my collection. I am trying to downsize my mainstream collection just because I really am loving indie polishes right now and versus mainstream for some reason I'm kind of in a indie polish thing right now versus mainstream but I do try to share give some love to my mainstream polishes as well so that's it for now guys hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe before you leave and we'll see you in the next one bye